All right, so uh, in order to make your violet candy, obviously you need to um, get uh, your violets, and uh, they're uh, very common, in, uh, especially in my region here. And the leaves are edible, the flowers are edible. And uh, we just harvested a bunch the other day, and they, um, they are very, very tasty. This is, uh, I believe the Latin name is uh, Violetta, Violetta Odorata. I'm going to double check that. <laughs> just going off the top of my head. Um, but at any rate, uh, this is the type of flower you want. And, and if you're not going to use them right away, after you harvest them and rinse them off, uh, then you can store them in the refrigerator in some ice water. And actually, these are actually these are stored in my refrigerator for a couple of days. Uh, they look pretty good, but the, the water actually frozen, so I'm just letting them thaw out. There's a there's a piece of ice still in here, so these will be good to go um, for this recipe. So the next thing you'll need is uh, an egg or egg white, and then you're going to need some fine sugar. Now I've got some granulated sugar here. But I also have a coffee grinder that I use for these projects, and I'm going to uh, grind the sugar up to make the fine powder. And you can you can actually kind of do this ahead of time and store it in a separate baggie. So when you do this or for other recipes that call for finely grated grated sugar, you can um, have some already stored up. But I'm just going to go ahead and go through the process now. And this is about a cup, uh, about a cup, cup and a half, three quarters of a cup. I would say so that's all we really need so that's the first things first so I'm gonna go ahead and grind up this uh, sugar so I'm gonna take some of the sugar here just the camera here a little bit and pour that in there so we don't need a terrible lot for this. And then I just cover this up here and then run that a couple of times. All right. And yeah, this is more of a fine powder now. Make sure the appliance is unplugged when I'm done with it. And so here we have it. It's more of a fine powder. So this I, this actually works out pretty well. Um, and this is also a good way to make candied flowers for, uh, you know, different d desserts and things. You can, hibiscus can work, uh, you know, certain edible lilies can work that you can just finally grind up the uh, some regular sugar and dip them in and then let them sit and they will uh, 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 become uh, candy. So I'm going to set the stuff aside. Next thing we'll need. Next thing we'll need is uh, egg white. So I'm old school. There's other many different ways to get extract the egg white from uh, the egg. What I like to do is just try to make sure that the egg is broken in half, and then carefully pull apart the egg and keep one side, and let the yolk sit inside and pass it back and forth from one half of the egg to the other and just let the egg white run into your container and that's kind of old school way that I learned to do it long long ago still works and I'm sure there's all kinds of gadgets and different ways to do it but this is my method I don't I like cooking with my hands so I don't mind getting my hands sticky alright so there we go and you know you can keep your egg yolk for other recipes but for this one we won't need it so I'm going to discard it and so we have our um, our egg white here ready to go so I'm going to move to another table and we're going to start uh, uh, dipping these and getting the uh, the uh, flowers all set to go alright so we're all ready to dip and here I have the the violet flowers here I've got my egg white here and I've got my finely grained flour here. I also have a baking sheet with um, uh, wax or parchment paper ready to, to ready to transfer. So basically what you do is I cut these with the stems still on them, shake some excess water off, and go ahead and dip them in the egg yolk, and then just dip them in the, in the uh, sugar, looks like flour, and then set them in the parchment paper to dry. 
some people will put them in the oven um, I don't want to bake them and it's always worked well for me just to let them air dry and we'll just dip them that's all it is to it really simple so sweetie you want to give it a try Let's set them there yeah. okay, go ahead and sorry about the lighting not very good lighting in this part of my kitchen Shake the excess water off. Good job. The egg white will help the um, the uh, sugar to stick. Uh, actually, you know, uh, I won't say caramelize, but it'll 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 uh, crystallize is the term I'm looking for. Will crystallize onto the petals of the the flowers, so they're actually like are like a piece of uh, candy versus um, just using water and the sugar uh, which then once the water evaporates uh, then this the sugar will just kind of fall off and it'll be a mess so uh, we can that's the, the purpose for the egg white and once it dries it'll be perfectly safe to eat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this sugar and kind of sprinkle on some of the parts that we may have missed just to make sure it's all covered like so so this is basically a process you know we're gonna go ahead and, and try and uh, fill up this cookie sheet or use all the flowers that we harvested and uh, we'll be back in a second so essentially this is what we have all laid out there and what we have to do now is uh, let these dry let these air dry and then uh, they'll be nice and crispy and, and like uh, like candy um, so I've got an air fan we've got some errands to run and so we'll be back in a little while and uh, these should be all set and good to go Okay, here's our finished violet flower candy. Um, it's still a little wet. It could stand it to sit out overnight. Um, but we're going to garnish it with some vanilla ice cream. And uh, this should turn out pretty good. It should be pretty tasty. All right. So go ahead. Pick the ones you want. <laughs> One. Nice. Nice and sweet, huh? <laughs> okay. So, anyways, this is just um, how you make a uh, violet flower candy.